Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I want to introduce you to the exciting world of 3D printing. If the idea of 3D printing seems a bit intimidating, don't worry. This video is here to guide you through the process and hopefully inspire you to embark on this simple yet fulfilling hobby. Before we dive in, let me share some information about my current printer. I'm currently using a printer that is essentially an Ender 3 V2 clone. If you're interested in purchasing one, you can find it on Amazon for approximately $165. Now let's talk about what you can expect from this video. It will serve as an introduction and a starting point for my upcoming series on building a basic Fedini motor. In this series, I will walk you through each step, providing detailed instructions on how to replicate and construct your very own pulse motor. By the end of this series, you'll have the knowledge and skills to create your own pulse motor, and hopefully, you'll find joy in this fascinating hobby. So, without further delay, let's jump right into the world of 3D printing and embark on this exciting journey together. Thank you for your support with likes and comments on this channel. I truly value each and every one of you, especially considering the small audience I have. If you want to visit my main page, simply click on my spider image. You can also access my video collection by clicking on the video tab, where you may discover videos you haven't seen before. For those interested, I have a store as well. Just click on the My Store link located on the right side of my banner. Please note that this site is a work in progress, and I will be adding tutorials as time permits. However, if you need any assistance, feel free to send me an email, and I'll be more than happy to help you get your motor up and running. Once you've added an item to your cart and proceed to checkout, you will be able to download the necessary STL files. I want to express my gratitude to anyone who purchases one of my designs. I believe they are reasonably priced, and every sale contributes a little to supporting my work. Trust me when I say that designing these products requires a significant amount of time and energy. Once again, thank you for your continued support. Once your download is complete, open Cura. Click on the folder icon and select the file you want to print. Click on your part to access the tool menu on the left. Use the Move tool to position your part on the print bed. If needed, you can use the Scale tool to adjust the size, although I recommend using the original design to avoid assembly issues. The Rotate tool can be used to position your part in a way that minimizes overhangs. Rest assured, all of my designs are optimized for easy printing. If you need to add another part, simply follow the same steps. To reposition the build plate within the view window, hold down the shift key and left click. Additionally, holding down the right mouse button allows you to view the part from different angles. For infill, a 20% density is usually sufficient. Keep in mind that adjusting the infill density may impact the print time and strength, so 20% generally works well. I personally prefer the triangle infill pattern. To ensure proper adhesion to the build plate, set the build plate adhesion type to skirt and adjust the skirt line count to two. This will help prime the nozzle before it starts printing your parts. For PLA material, you can select 200 degrees C for the nozzle temperature and 60 degrees C for the bed temperature in the material settings dropdown. Once you have everything set, click the Slice button, and Cura will calculate the estimated print time. Printing with a 0.4mm nozzle will take over an hour, which might not be acceptable for some. If you install a 1.0mm nozzle, you can significantly reduce the print time. It's impressive, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Go to the Quality tab and change the layer height to 0.5 mm. This will produce strong prints with decent resolution. So, we went from over an hour to just 16 minutes. Keep in mind that as the parts become larger, the print time will increase substantially. If you're concerned about achieving better detail, you can further decrease the layer height to 0.28 mm for a nicer appearance. Now that everything is sliced, insert a micro flash card or the appropriate medium for your printer. It's a good practice to delete any existing files on the card. Click the Save to Removable button and eject the card from your computer.
Insert the card into your printer and access the card from the printer's menu. Select the desired file and start the print. Your printer will heat up to the pre-programmed settings and begin printing your parts. And that's how easy it is to 3D print a part. In the next video, we will start assembling the basic Bedini pulse motor design. I encourage everyone to take on this challenge, and before you know it, you'll have your very own 3D printed pulse motor to experiment with. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in part two.